This is a really fun movie. It had a great blend of action, humor, a lot of suspenseful mm. moments. It was really fun. One thing I really admired mm. was that all the female lead roles were really they were badass. Yeah. How was it like working with the with the ladies? Um, it was, it was great. It was great getting to watch actresses um, how they pulled together, mm -hmm. and they really it, it, there was a real sister dynamic early on. And they were really, I mean, some of them are more experienced than the others. And they were really helpful and, and um, they made each other better. And that's not always the case in a cast because yeah. people are so competitive. That's but really that, was, that was great to watch. What made you uh, want to get involved with the project? Did you read the book and instantly say you had to uh, direct it? No. I am. Um, the book had been around for a while. I'd seen it. I was aware of it because you, you would see it in mm. bookstores, yeah. and it had that great cover yeah. of, of the, the Regency woman, with, yeah, which was kind of the starting off point for the movie. Um, everything looks right, but something's tweaked. Um, but uh, I had known about zombies. I, I'd been working on a piece in Haiti. On Haiti, on, on, on uh, Papa Doc and the uh, Tantan Makut and all that, and seen the old uh, uh, zombie marches and how they would based everything, like the Boogeyman uh, uh, and Baron Saturday, were all European figures that then they had um, adopted and, and, and twisted uh, in Haiti. Um, so I, I went back and you know got into all of that, nice. just out of procra pr procrastination. Yeah. <laughs> you know, mainly. Absolutely. You have a very small estate here, and yet we endure it. I have urgent business to attend. A falsehood of the most scandalous nature has reached me. That you intend to be united with my own nephew, Mr. Darcy. I'm not. Will you promise me never to enter into such an engagement? I will make no such promise. Then I shall protect the dignity of a far superior man. Wilhelm. Do you still refuse to oblige me? as a warrior, or your resolve as a woman. I wanted to ask you, how long do you think you would survive in a zombie apocalypse? But like in terms of like TV shows, so like I think I would survive to like season three of a yeah. zombie apocalypse. How long do you think you would, you would survive? You have to be really specific with what kind of zombies. True. Because my, the, the idea with my zombies was that, um, that, that they've evolved. After 100 years of the disease, they've evolved, and they can pass now. You can't profile a zombie anymore. They could, True. you know, if they're not wounded in the face, mm -hmm. you, they could go anywhere. Um, and they've gotten, um, they've retained more of who they were when they were alive, and they think of themselves as this competitive race now. They're not monsters. They're not sort of wandering around waiting to get decapitated. I think in this world, with those zombies, it would be much more difficult to survive. I agree. Uh, I think I'd get out of yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd leave. Yeah, it will yeah, survive. Uh, chances of a sequel. Would you like to direct a sequel? Yeah, you know, normally the reflexive thing is they always tell you is not to do it because mm -hmm. you, 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 you would, how can you win? If you, if you do well with the first one, then the second one invariably will get compared to it. and. It won't do as well, but uh, the characters were so much fun uh, to get to play with. Yeah. And there's so many things, so many places we can go with it. Yeah, now I'd love to do a sequel. Cool. Like I said, man, I really enjoyed the film. I really appreciate it. it. Thank pleasure. you.